sight in the game can see the boxing boys. I know anybody who sparred with Mikey, anything else is easy. Yeah, it, it was. A, it, I mean, Mikey's. I mean, spar I spoke with them once up to this camp. I was there. It was just, oh, it was just like no, no, for this camp. It was okay. just light work, but um, you know, it, just sparring in general with Robert Garcia's camp, it helps you a lot, man. And they're always giving you instructions too. They're always giving you advice, and that helps tremendously too. You know, Velez was the undefeated fighter heading into this. Kind of had the backing. Uh, of, of Cotto and Brock Nation. So how did it feel to pull off what was probably an upset in most people's eyes? Um, you know what? It, it felt big time because I, I'm a proven, I just proved that no matter what, if you lost, because last year I lost, you can still come back and still look strong. You know, a lot of people are saying that he was one of the best fighters at 126. And, you know, I'm not going to disagree, but we got a W over him, and it was a really good experience. It was a, it was a close fight halfway through. And it looked like you just dug down deep a little more. Is, do you feel like that's that's what separated you guys in the second half of the fight? Yes. At, at first, I think I think the, at first we were just feeling each other out, you know. And then after a while, um, the, I hadn't fought in eight months, so I, I felt the ring rust. And then after a while, I started warming up, and that's when I started loosening up more. Yeah, and that uh, so is that why in the second half you, you kind of got more aggressive? And well, not, well, you were being aggressive from the outside, but while you're able to find your punches better. Yeah, it was just the ring rust, you know, shading off the rust and just, uh, <clears throat> he, was a, he was very, obviously you can watch a lot of tapes on a certain opponent, but once you're in there, it's a whole different feeling and that's what it was. It was like, he, we knew he was going to move around, but he moved around a lot smoother in person than he did on the video. So it was, it kind of had to take my time. I just couldn't rush in and at times I did, but I was trying to correct it during the fight. 126 is a hell of a division. It's got Leo Santa Cruz, it's got Gary Russell, it's got Lomachenko. Now you have that WBC around your arm. So you're right in the mix. Do you want those guys? You know what? It, I mean, promotion, promotionals is, is going to be hard to kind of mesh. So I understand that. But like I've always said, I've never, ever ducked anybody. I've always been willing to fight the best. And, you know, I, I proved that today because I fought an undefeated fighter after I suffered a loss. So I'm always willing to fight the best. Just closing, Ronnie. Thanks a lot for your time. Uh, how's this feel, man? Um, it feels great, man. It feels great. I'm just going to enjoy this with my, with my friends and family. You know, go on a vacation for a week and then come back and get back to work. Congratulations, Ronnie. Thank you for your time. Thank you, sir.